Besides being two world-famous businessmen, Donald Trump and Elon Musk are powerful men who have amassed huge fortunes throughout their careers. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Donald Trump and Elon Musk. So let's fight! Cars! The two billionaires spare no expense on cars for their garages, but who owns the most expensive vehicles? Trump, for example, once owned a Ferrari F430, which he sold at auction in 2017 for $270,000. Another vehicle that has passed through the businessman's garage is a Lamborghini Diablo VT, a very exclusive machine that costs around $420,000. As a gift to the First Lady, Trump bought a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a super sports model worth a whopping $450,000. A classic model among American millionaires that he has been seen driving is a Rolls-Royce Phantom, which, depending on the version, costs up to $460,000. Elon Musk, on the other hand, excels in this regard. Although his first car was an old BMW 3 Series from 1978 that he paid only $1,400, things started to get better for him, and then he started driving super machines, such as his McLaren F1 that he bought in 1999 and unfortunately turned to dust after an accident. To give you an idea of the price, at the time the car cost about $1 million. But Elon Musk has also owned other cars, such as $55,000 Audi Q7, $80,000 1967 Jaguar E-Type, $100,000 BMW M5, $200,000 Porsche 911 Turbo, and even a car that turns into a submarine from the James Bond movie, paying about $800,000 at auction. These days Elon Musk prefers to drive his own company's vehicles, having already been spotted driving a Tesla Cybertruck. A huge, sturdy car with a square design, which was manufactured to provide maximum durability and protection for passengers. And even this car made Elon Musk a bit embarrassed when he went to present it live and the strength of the glass didn't seem to be the best. But the price of the car costs around $60,000. The most modern and luxurious car from his company, the Tesla Model S Plaid, is the electric vehicle with the greatest technology, acceleration, and autonomy in the world, being able to go 395 miles without the need to stop to recharge. This is all in addition to its super-powerful motor, which can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.1 seconds, reaching a top speed of 200 miles per hour. And the latest and most complete models of this vehicle, top $150,000. And because Elon Musk has owned more valuable vehicles, he wins this round. Score 1 Most Expensive Mansions the two tycoons don't usually skimp on nice places to live, but who has the most impressive mansions? Trump, for example, owns a property called Seven Springs, a mansion where he frequently spends a few seasons with his family. Located in the town of Bedford, in the state of New York, on an impressive 121 acres, the mansion has 49,000 square feet of built area. It's a real castle with Georgian architecture, with 60 rooms and 15 luxurious bedrooms. Surrounded by nature reserves and with a lake by the side of the house, the place serves as a refuge for Trump from the hectic cities. And the exact value of this property is highly disputed, estimated at around $20 million. Elon Musk is not far behind. In the elite Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, Elon Musk has spent years buying neighboring mansions for more privacy. The billionaire's luxurious homes are situated on hills, which offer panoramic views of Los Angeles. And to give you an idea of the price of the properties, he sold four of his properties together in one package for about $62.5 million. And if you add up Elon Musk's entire real estate portfolio, it easily exceeds hundreds of millions of dollars. Considering the value of Elon Musk's mansions, he wins this round. Other means of transportation Both billionaires have plenty of money to travel in comfort, but who has the most luxurious means of transport? Elon Musk, for example, has already been spotted on vacation in Greece enjoying life aboard a yacht known as Zeus. This is a 78-foot-long vessel that can accommodate up to six crew members. And although it is a beautiful vessel, 
we can say that it is quite modest compared to the size of Musk's fortune. To get an idea of the price, it is estimated that the tycoon had to pay around $52,000 to rent this yacht for a week. Regarding aircraft, he owns one of the most expensive, fastest, and longest-range private jets in the world. This is a Gulfstream G650ER, an executive jet that has an intercontinental range and can travel anywhere on the globe without stopovers. This air transport is divided into up to seven environments, which can be the super technological and modern cabin, a complete and well-equipped kitchen with built-in appliances ideal for chefs to prepare good menus for the crew, a first cabin with four seats for a comfortable flight, the middle cabin with a sofa and TV for relaxing and watching a movie, the conference area with a table for meetings and also for meals, the VIP cabin with a sofa that turns into a bed for a peaceful night's sleep, and a complete bathroom. The jet is all customized, and the areas can be changed to meet the owner's demands. Depending on the chosen layout, it can comfortably carry up to 19 passengers. And this jet is so much in demand that even its main competitor Jeff Bezos has one of these to call his own. And it is no wonder that, to obtain an aircraft of this model, it is necessary to spend a real fortune, estimated at $65 million. Meanwhile, Trump has a fleet of aircraft, having already declared three units of the Sikorsky S-76 model. Located in New York, Florida, and Scotland, the helicopters are an exclusive convenience for the executives, members, and VIP guests of Donald Trump's company. The helicopters have undergone interior renovations, equipped with sophisticated gold-plated hardware and comfortable finishes. Each one usually costs $7 million, for a total of $21 million. When it comes to aircraft, the simplest model the businessman owns is a Cessna Citation X, a medium-sized, high-speed twin-engine jet capable of comfortably carrying up to nine passengers. It is often used by Trump when he needs agile transportation, without neglecting comfort. No wonder the aircraft is valued at $23 million. For longer journeys, the businessman relies on his private Boeing 757, a very common model for commercial flights. The aircraft, in its traditional layout, can carry up to 280 passengers, but it has been refurbished to become a veritable mansion, meeting all of Donald Trump's requirements. The turbines, for example, were replaced with Rolls-Royce ones and the seatbelts were plated in 24 karat gold. The jet was divided into the following areas. Cabin with armchairs for relaxing and watching a movie, with a TV for each bed. Dining room. Main lounge with a 57-inch television. A guest area with a sofa that turns into a bed. And Donald Trump's comfortable bedroom with a bed, armchair, and TV, as well as a bathroom with a gold-plated shower and sink. The estimated price of this customized aircraft capable of carrying 43 people is $100 million. It's not for everyone, is it? As Trump has more valuable transport, he wins this round. Point for him. Other real estate. Both tycoons love buying luxury properties, but who has the most luxurious real estate portfolio? Elon Musk, for example, although he currently lives in a small 430-square-foot prefab house, he has owned luxurious mansions. One of his most famous homes was the one owned by actor Gene Wilder. The property is on a spacious and heavily wooded lot, and the house has about 2,800 square feet of living space. And because it is an old property from 1951, the architecture is very similar to what was used at the time. It is known that Elon Musk decided to dispose of the property by selling it for about $7 million. In the town of Hillsboro, the billionaire had a mansion located on a gigantic 47-acre lot surrounded by trees. The property, which was built in 1912, is about 16,000 square feet, with very classical and luxurious architecture. In the interior of the house, for example, the furniture is super sophisticated, perfect for those who like a more antique decoration. In total, the house has seven comfortable bedrooms and ten luxurious bathrooms. And it is no wonder that the property was put up for sale for about $37 million. Trump, on the other hand, owns an inn in the state of Virginia called Albemarle Estate. The 25,800-square-foot mansion in classic Georgian style is reminiscent of a charming, traditional English home. The resort was designed to embody modern luxury while retaining unique historical details such as 1760 Waterford crystal chandeliers, hand-painted plaster ceilings, and wallpaper. 
complementing the luxury of the property are manicured English gardens, fishing ponds, and an outdoor swimming pool with a hot tub. All the accommodations offer breathtaking views of the Virginia vineyards. The property also offers a pool table in the library, a private movie theater, a 24-hour gym, and a wide range of outdoor activities. And of course, the place offers great experiences with the wines produced in the region. To stay at Trump's property, you'll need to shell out around $500 a night, and who knows, maybe you'll bump into the former president there. Another property in Donald Trump's portfolio that is a destination on his days off is Le Chateau de Pamiers, a beachfront property in the French city of St. Martin, located on a Caribbean island. There are two villas on site, one of which faces the beach with six bedrooms and the other overlooks the garden with four bedrooms. The elegantly designed villas have a spectacular heated swimming pool, tennis court, gym, spa, and dining rooms. When Trump is not on location, Le Chateau becomes a private resort with total privacy and guaranteed fun. Guests can enjoy accommodation with chef-prepared meals and relaxing massage services, all for up to $60,000 a week. And the former president's natural Caribbean paradise is worth around $25 million. But Trump's properties don't end there. In his famous New York skyscraper, Trump Tower, Donald has reserved the top three floors as his home. From the entrance door alone, you can imagine the luxury of the former president's property, which is made of gold with diamond-encrusted stones. The entire penthouse is decorated with large chandeliers and luxurious furniture, while 24K gold ornaments line the space, from the ceilings and moldings to trays and glasses. Inspired by the Palace of Versailles, the furniture and decoration are in a classic style, with marble coverings. The spacious living room, for example, has works of art on the walls, an imposing white piano, and sumptuous chandeliers, as well as a sculpted, well-lit fountain in the very center of the room. European sculptures and ornaments, as well as chandeliers with candles, are also present in the residence. This is where Donald Trump usually gathers his five children and wife on special dates, and also where he receives some guests for important meetings. A private elevator connects the apartment to the former president's office on another floor of the building. But if the businessman or his wife wants to work directly from home, there is an office with a great view of the city and the triplex itself. The entire residence has large glass windows that offer a great view from any room. Located on a busy New York Avenue, Trump Tower has also been home to the residences of several celebrities, such as footballer Cristiano Ronaldo and former singer Michael Jackson. In the case of the soccer player's apartment, the decoration featured a strong presence of wood and vintage furniture, and he acquired this property for $18.5 million. But as Trump's triplex is larger and more luxurious, with decoration worthy of a palace, the price is also higher. Some sources claim that Trump and his beautiful wife's house in downtown New York is worth $100 million. After leaving the White House, Donald Trump moved to one of his most luxurious properties, called Mar-a-Lago, located in Palm Beach, Florida. The businessman acquired the property in 1985 and turned it into a private club and spa exclusively for the region's social elite. The main area of the club occupies around 54,000 square feet, but Trump himself has said that his entire property in this location occupies 1 million square feet, making it the largest private area in Palm Beach. And, of course, he has his little corner of the huge property, covering 3,000 square feet. To give you an idea of the grandeur, the development has 126 rooms, some private beaches, and a 20,000-square-foot ballroom decorated with $7 million in gold leaf. The price to become a member of this club is around $200,000, excluding annual fees. And some sources claim that Donald Trump's leisure complex is valued at an impressive $160 million. In other words, Trump wins this round. Net worth As two of the world's biggest businessmen, there's no doubt that they've amassed huge amounts of wealth. But who will be the richest? Donald Trump, for example, had many people wondering what his fortune was and what his pretensions were to command the greatest global power, given that he was already considered a billionaire. As president, Trump not only gave up his salary of $78,000 a month for donations but also spent more than $66 million out of pocket to finance his campaign. As host of the reality TV show The Apprentice, the tycoon allegedly earned $427 million from his salary, sponsorships, and licenses over the show's 14 seasons. But his fortune goes far beyond his work in the media. 
Donald Trump is a businessman with an extensive real estate portfolio, which guarantees him a great income. He owns several hotels around the world, such as the five-star Trump International Hotel chain in Chicago, Las Vegas, Washington, D.C., Greater New York, and Dunebeg, Ireland. Trump Doral in Miami, Florida. Waikiki in Hawaii. And Turnberry in Scotland. The businessman also owns several golf courses, such as Bali in Indonesia and Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Not to mention his many luxurious residential and commercial buildings. Donald Trump also has a vast network of licensed products, ranging from household items to clothes, jewelry, and sweets. According to Forbes, $170 million of his fortune is generated by products bearing his name alone. In addition, throughout his career, Trump has written a total of 19 books on a variety of subjects, including a golf manual, guides to building a fortune, and even a detective novel. Unlike the big billionaires who have their fortunes publicly exposed by having their assets allocated on the stock exchange, it's not so easy to know what all the former president's money is. However, Donald Trump himself has already announced that his fortune is $10 billion, a much higher figure than many magazines and journalists estimate. Elon Musk, on the other hand, alone has more money than several countries in the world, with a fortune greater than the GDP of countries such as Afghanistan, Bolivia, Paraguay, Angola, Ecuador, New Zealand, Greece, Iraq, Peru, Portugal, Egypt, Finland, Chile, among many others. On November 1, 2021, Elon Musk broke a record that nobody believed would happen so soon. After the company, Hertz announced that it intended to buy 100,000 cars from Elon Musk's automaker, the shares of his company Tesla soared. And this contributed greatly to his becoming the first person in history to surpass the incredible $300 billion net worth mark, a figure that puts him as the absolute leader in the ranking of the richest people on the planet. But while this video was being produced, Elon's fortune was estimated at $177 billion. Considering that Elon Musk is richer, he wins this last round. At the end of this battle, we had two points for Donald Trump against three points for Elon Musk, making him the champion. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.